All right, so just one more ex uh, example here involving derivatives. So here we're going to find the derivative of 4x to the third minus sine x, um, the x to the third minus sine x all being in the exponent. So here we're just going to use our a to the f of x derivative formula. And we've seen for these, uh, when you have a number to a function, it just repeats when we take the derivative. So we'll get 4 raised to the x to the third minus sine x, so just like it was. Then we have to use the chain rule. We have to multiply by the derivative of the exponent. Well, the derivative of x to the third is just 3x squared. The derivative of sine x is just cosine x. And last but not least, recall, when we have a number, a base other than e, um, we have to multiply that by the natural logarithm of the base. Again, we even do it when we have base e. It's just that ln of e equals 1, um, so we don't bother to write it. And at this point, there's really not a lot else to do. I mean, uh, there's, again, no simplification. I wouldn't multiply out this ln of 4. Um, you could sort of write things in different orders uh, just because of it's all being multiplied. But I would say, hey, let's leave it there, and that is our derivative.